We all remember our first sit, looking in the mirror and realizing that our baby fresh skin will now forever be a battle with hormones, oil, makeup, and dirt. But if you stick around to the very end of this article, you'll uncover all the weapons you need to win this battle for good. Find out the 10 types of acne and what they mean right here on The Taco. Before we dive all to the secrets to great skin care, take a moment to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notifications for more from The Taco. Now let's get deep into those pores and uncover the reasons why we get sits and what they mean blackheads and whiteheads. Before we dive into where acne appears and what it means, it's important for us to understand the different types of acne. Understanding what kind of zit you have will ultimately help you in figuring out the best treatment. The first type of acne that everyone can relate to is comedones. There are two types of comedones, open comedones and closed comedones. Open comedones are blackheads while closed comedones are whiteheads. Both types are a result of the pore getting clogged. Once the pore is clogged, a buildup of sebum forms. Now don't get us wrong, sebum isn't necessarily the enemy here. Sebum actually helps protect the skin where there is just the right amount of it, but too much can lead to a buildup of oil and clogged pores, which then leads to blackheads and whiteheads. Sebum comes from the sebaceous glands, which can be found all over the body except for the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. There are about 2600 to 5800 per square inch of these glands on your back, forehead, and chin, which makes sense that these areas are most prone to breakouts. Sebum is continually produced throughout our lives, but increases during puberty, menstruation, pregnancy, and menopause. Besides hormonal changes in our bodies, whiteheads and blackheads can be managed with proper skincare. Start by washing your face twice daily, especially if you're someone who wears makeup every day. And depending on your skin, exfoliating once or twice a week can aid in keeping those delicate pores clean and clear and under control. Acne vulgaris Acne vulgaris sounds like Comedone's evil twin, and to be honest, it kind of is. Acne vulgaris is caused by deeper blockage of the pores. While vulgaris sounds just as vulgar as it sounds, it actually isn't. Vulgaris simply means common, and this makes sense since acne vulgaris is the most common type of acne. Although it is the most common, there are three different forms of it, mild, moderate, and severe. Mild acne vulgaris is most common among the general public, especially during adolescent years when hormones are changing. Acne vulgaris happens when the pore gets clogged and in inflamed because of pilosebaceous units, which in layman's terms means the hair follicle and sebaceous gland. Unlike whiteheads and blackheads, treatment for acne vulgaris is a bit more rigorous. Treatments include topical antibacterial products such as benzoyl peroxide. Anti-inflammatory products can also be used to reduce redness and inflamed skin. You can also use products that will help turn over the skin such as retinoids. Severe forms of acne vulgaris may need dermatological advice and oral medication may be prescribed depending on how serious it is. If you suffer from severe acne vulgaris and have tried every type of over-the-counters, then we suggest making an appointment with your dermatologist to further help to get your skin where you want it. Adult Female Acne you read that right, ladies. Just when you thought you could kiss acne goodbye in your teens, the little monsters make an appearance in adulthood. Also, notice the word female here. Adult acne is most common in females and not males because females go through more hormonal changes like menstruation, pregnancy, and menopause. Changes in hormones have a huge effect on your skin, like that little red friend that continually pops up with a vengeance once a month. Women might start seeing the return of acne at ages 25 to 40. So ladies, enjoy those five years of being acne-free only kidding here. Don't worry too much because adult female acne doesn't happen to everybody and is obviously very dependent on your specific body and the changes it goes through. Factors like hormones, stress, pollution, diet, and products can all be culprits of female adult acne. Progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone all play roles in the appearance of our skin. Following pregnancy, the body needs some time to normalize and hormone levels may take a while to rebalance. Rest assured, if you are suffering from adult acne, there are so many solutions. Look for products that have antibacterial and ingredients like benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid. Like we said earlier, exfoliate once or twice a week depending on your skin type. And always keep a spot treatment handy. Diet could also be a reason for acne and we'll get to that later. So make sure you stick around to find out how you can spot allergies and intolerances by the types of breakouts on your skin. Acne X-ray. Next up on the list is Acne X-Ray. Trust us, we didn't come up with these names, but they all sound like superhero villains, don't they? Acne X-Ray is Acne Vulgaris' sidekick. One could not survive without the other. Acne X-Ray comes from the word exoriated, which means to wear off the skin. Acne X-Ray happens when you pick and meddle with lesions caused by Acne Vulgaris. Acne X-Ray is a much less common type of acne as not everyone compulsively picks at their skin, but it can be found in adolescence as well as adulthood. Acne X-Rays usually 
associated with anxiety. People who suffer from anxiety as well as acne may start to pick at their lesions when feeling anxious. Although everyone gets a small satisfaction from squeezing and picking at a zit, acne x-ray is defined as intense picking and compulsive scratching of the lesion. If you suffer from acne x-ray, there are a few things you can do to help your skin. For starters, try to be aware of when you are scratching or picking at a lesion. Mindless picking and scratching can be damaging as it can be an unconscious habit. If you have developed scarring from picking, there are creams, gels, and lasers that can dramatically help with the appearance of scarring. If you pick because of anxiety, then take the necessary treatment of looking into seeking counseling as well as medications and skin treatment. Don't worry, we all get antsy over things, just try not to take it out on your skin. Acne Mechanica Acne Mechanica is a villain that stands alone. It doesn't necessarily coexist with Acne Vulgaris, but it sounds just as superhero evil. Acne Mechanica is a form of acne that comes from outside factors such as heavy sunscreen or makeup, external oils and grease, and even clothing. Sports bras that continually rub up against the skin that could contain oil could lead to Acne Mechanica. Acne Mechanica is most commonly found in athletes, students, and soldiers. The main difference between Acne Vulgaris and Acne Mechanica is that the cause for each type is different. While Acne Vulgaris is caused by hormones that lead to overproduction of oil, Acne Mechanica, on the other hand, is caused by friction. Any type of clothing that can trap heat and cause friction on the skin can lead to blocked hair follicles, which could lead to Acne Mechanica. It's important to know what type of acne you have in order to properly treat it. Paying attention to where and when the acne is appearing can be a huge clue. If you are continually breaking out in a specific area after a workout or the acne appears seasonally, then you could be suffering from Acne Mechanica. You can treat this type of acne much the same way you treat treat other forms of acne by using antibacterial products. Also, try using breathable materials for your workouts and make sure to properly clean them. Using fabric that allows your skin to breathe will dramatically reduce acne mechanica. Forehead and hairlines. Now that we understand the different types of acne that can appear on our skin, let's get into where the acne appears and what it means. Acne that appears on the forehead and hairline could mean one of two things. It could be acne mechanica or acne vulgaris. If you wear a lot of hats or tubes, then friction could be the cause of your forehead and hairline acne. If you use heavy hair products or oily shampoos and conditioners, then you could be trapping excess of oil into your pores. In both of these cases, acne mechanica is the culprit. To reduce breakouts, try changing your hair products and see if that helps. Also, try washing your favorite hat and not wearing your toque as often. If that doesn't work and you've ruled out Acne Mechanica, then Acne Vulgaris may be to blame. Take note of what's going on in your daily life. Are you breaking out during exam period? Could stress be a factor in increasing your acne? If stress might be to blame, acne treatments can help breakouts. It's also worth mentioning to lay off sweets and junk food, especially during stressful periods. We know it's so awesome to have some sugar or fast food while stressed, but unfortunately, your forehead is directly linked to your digestive system. We know crazy. So if you're breaking out on your forehead, try changing your diet and consuming more water. Chin and Jawline if you're continuously breaking out on your chin and jawline, then acne vulgaris is most likely the offender. Breakouts that appear on your chin and jawline tend to be associated with hormonal imbalances. Do you normally break out at the time of the month? While there is little we can do to control hormonal fluctuations, we can take preventative steps in aiding with breakouts and acne. Taking extra care of your skin around this time of the month can assist in minimizing the number of breakouts. For starters, keep a skin diary and make notes of your skin and how it changes during or near your menstruation. Do you see any common symptoms or patterns. Once you understand how your skin reacts during hormonal changes, you'd better be able to control it. For example, if your skin gets really oily and greasy right before menstruation, then try incorporating a toner with benzoyl peroxide or a face wash that has antibacterial properties. Consuming a lot of water during your time of the month can also dramatically improve skin conditions. Although water retention happens right before menstruation and you might already feel incredibly bloated, you'll be doing your skin a solid by drinking water. If you feel too bloated to drink water, try eliminating salty foods from your diet, which might mean resisting those time of month cravings. Cheeks Cheek breakouts are usually acne mechanica. This means that outside factors are causing oil and grease to block your pores. Phones, makeup brushes, and pillowcases are usually a good place to start the blame game. Phones are like really dirty. Try cleaning your phone once a week with a disinfectant wipe. Also, being aware of where you leave your phone when you go to the bathroom or when you're on public transportation. If you wear makeup daily, maybe take a look at your makeup brushes. When is the last time you gave them a good wash? Makeup brushes that aren't regularly or properly cleaned can carry a host of bacteria and oils 
that go directly on the skin and cause breakouts. If you don't think the above two apply to you, then maybe take a look at your bedding. How often do you change your sheets? While it may not be necessary to change your entire bed sheets weekly, you may want to rotate multiple pillowcases. Changing your pillowcases weekly can help to avoid those pesky cheek breakouts. Plus, our cheeks are linked to our respiratory system, so if you're a smoker, maybe this is the motivation you need to give it up for clearer skin, among many other health benefits. In between brows and nose. Breakouts in between the eyebrows are usually related to skin allergies and intolerances. Diets that are too rich and difficult to digest may be wreaking havoc on your face. It's no fun watching what we eat, but sometimes we gotta pay attention to what you eat and how the skin is reacting post meals. If you are someone who gets your eyebrows waxed regularly, then Acne Mechanica could be to blame. Make sure to thoroughly clean the skin before and after a wax. If you're breaking out a little below your eyebrows and more on your nose, then diet could still be the culprit. Your nose is directly linked to your heart, so foods that are spicy or meat-heavy diets could be causing breakouts on your nose. Give your heart and skin some love by swapping out bad fats for good fats. If you're craving a meaty dish, try making something with fish instead. If you're hungry for a BLT sandwich, try swapping out the mayo with avocados or bacon with turkey bacon. But keep those tomatoes. Tomatoes have numerous health benefits including anti-aging agents and skin glowing properties. Eat up! Ears it may be more odd to break out behind your ears, but it also means something very specific. Pay particular attention if you are breaking out behind or around your ears. While Acne Mechanica may be a factor if you have long hair, it could be a more serious issue. Breaking out behind your ears could be a sign of poor kidney health. Dehydration is usually the biggest issue, so make sure to drink around 8 glasses of water per day. Avoid caffeine and carbonated drinks as most are diuretics and could make matters even worse. So if it is exam time, try swapping out our coffee for a herbal tea or or if you are in need of a caffeine boost, just be sure to follow up that cup of coffee with a glass of water. If you're a big soft drinks person, try flavored carbonated water instead. There are so many alternatives today when it comes to swapping out our favorite bad habits with healthier options. Your skin will thank you, and apparently so will your kidneys. We hope you learned as much as we did about our skin. Do you guys have any at-home remedies for breakouts? Have you noticed any particular foods that affect your skin? Let us know in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe to The Taco and give this video a like. See you next time!